What? Throw away the script. Okay. <laughs> Hi, I'm Emil Husson. Welcome to my channel. I'm really excited to be starting this. I'm looking forward to talking about photography, about video. I want to talk to other people about it. I want to learn some things along the way and then tell you what I've learned. And I want to also talk about the places that I visit. We'll look at theory. We'll look at technique. We'll look at some opinions that I have that you know we can discuss. The first thing I want to do is talk about a trip I made a little over a year ago to Australia when I was doing some work down there. I actually had four trips, and the first one I dedicated to tourism, where I went to this place called Rottnest Island off the southwest coast of Australia, just off the city of Perth in Western Australia. I was told that I had to go there and get a selfie with a quokka. Now, if you want to know what a quokka is, just take a look. So on my next trip, I wanted to do something a little more targeted. I wanted to do something that was a little more artistic, a little more uh, photogenic. So I found on one of the photo sites that featured Perth a view from the southern shore of the Swan River. This is where the skyline was framed by this wonderfully bleached out old tree. And I just had to find that location. So after doing some uh, navigation and some exploration, I finally found it. And this is that trip. Hi, everybody. I'm in Perth, Western Australia, and I'm here on business, but I'm going to try to find some time to go out and get some photos. I'm really hesitant to drive along the, uh, the wrong side of the road or the right side of the road, whichever the case may be here. So I'm going to try to find some locations that are within easy walking or commute distance by ferry or by bus. One of those is the South Shore, the Perth South Foreshore, the, the South Perth Foreshore. I'll check that out later. And it gives an amazing view of the skyline of Perth at sunset. <music> So I'm at the South Perth Foreshore, I believe that's what it's called, and I came over here because I wanted to get a view of the skyline with the setting sun across this idyllic looking pond with a lot of lush vegetation and just some really beautiful wildlife going on. And the flies here are terrible, they're very aggressive. <laughs> um, but I wanted to make sure I got here slightly before sunset, uh, just to set up the shot. I want to make sure that I catch the, the light of the setting sun on the skyline. And I'll probably have to do multiple exposures for uh, just a slight bit of HDR just to get the vegetation in the foreground. And I may be doing some focus blending as well.
All right, as you can see, there are a lot of elements in this image that don't seem to work together at first. You've got the, the, the foreground, which is this beautiful, lush scenery, and then you've got the, the hard, angled, hard-lit cityscape in the background. Let's look a little more closely at how I handled this and the choices that I made. So I didn't need exposure blending or focus stacking to make this photo work. The RAW file provided me all of the information I needed. What I had to do, though, was bring down this one white-hot building just enough so that we could see some detail in it without, without losing the energy that it was picking up from the setting sun. At the same time, the foreground was actually quite buried in the shadows, so I wanted to bring that up just enough so that we could see the detail there. I wanted to preserve the warmth. I wanted to preserve that, that, that inviting feel of the rich colors uh, as, a, as a place of rest, as a place of, of almost primordial beauty, juxtaposed with that hot energy, the angular energy of the city. So I, I, I love the transition from the foreground to the reflection of the city into that, that background where the city is just this jewel sitting on the horizon. Also going on here is the framing provided by the tree. Uh, this branch coming down from the top and then the, the trunk on the right and then the, the root system of the tree just frames this whole scene, the reflection and the city itself. I didn't want to bring up the shadows too much on the right side of the tree because I love the relief that it provided and the, the, the extra detail of the, of the cracks and the crags that the, uh, that the shadow played off. If I were good to go back and do it again, and I would love to be able to go back, I would have probably dropped the camera about another six inches to a foot just to break up the distance between this spire off of the tower and this branch so that I would have a clean break between the, the city scene and the framing of the tree. But otherwise, I'm quite pleased with how this came out and uh, I look forward to uh, doing some more images like this. So thank you for checking out my channel. If you like what you see, go ahead and hit that like button. If you wanna see more of what I do as I do it, hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell if you wanna know when I post something new. I'm Emil Husson, I'll see you next time.